so there we go hopefully you've all enjoyed that little video what we've had um, the intro to the car um, am I 100% happy with the car I have to be honest uh, I think if I was a little bit more patient uh, and not pursuing so much I would have been able to do it um, a lot better um, I just wanted to get it complete really but you can see the <laughs> Some of the stickers really are not that well, but I think for the first ever body It hasn't turned out too bad. I wanted to open it up quickly and show you uh, what's inside as well as a couple of um, uh, New things that I've got in this package here Okay, so here is the body itself as you can see And now maybe even the more important part. It's what's underneath um, I'll just grab my controller, just give me two seconds, my transmitter, there we go, uh, so we do have the sandwich here, I'll just power it on and power on the car to show you one of the main issues what I'm having with it at the moment, so the electronics are pretty standard what I have, uh, everything here, the ESC and the uh, transmitter that you can see, if I can just zoom in a little bit I will show you uh, let me just check the zoom I'm using a new camera so hopefully you can see that uh, okay so you see the transmitter there that's all attached using this stuff uh, tack black and it's uh, an extra strong reusable putty and if I wanted to I could really lift the car using this which is absolutely amazing if we have a look at the front here, this is actually where the main issue is what I'm having so far. I'll just zoom out slightly so you can see it a little bit better. So when I go to the controller to the full right, we can see that that's working quite fine. We can hear the servo working, but when I go to the full left and return, the return is just not there. It's very slow and what I've been proposed that this could be down to the servo when I was speaking to the local club is the whole idea of these videos is actually to get ready for the racing so if I just move the car here to the side we can see here we have the Tamiya hop-up tires uh, these are the racing semi slick tires as well as the one this uh, fast tracks, uh, steering arms, and the Tamiya uh, high torque uh, servo saver. Uh, apparently, that will solve all of my problems and help me uh, ensure that the steering is as responsive as it can be. Of course, I've bought this uh, Sanwa MT5, um, as you may have seen the review in one of my videos. Um, so I would like to ensure that the car is as responsive as it can be um, So what I'll go uh, do I'll fit these parts on and then um, We'll see if that resolves the issue that I'm having uh, But for now, I hope you enjoyed this quick video and this is the sign of things to come we have the race on Friday so Friday the 12th and um, Yeah, let's see how that works out and uh, I'll make sure to get some videos there, but hope you enjoy this quick build and uh, I'll see you soon. Thank you.